from our studios in the heart of Silicon Valley, Palo Alto, California. This is a Cube Conversation. Hi everybody, welcome to the Cube's Palo Alto Studios. My name is Dave Vellante and digital transformation is the big buzzword today and everybody's trying to become a digital business. What does that mean? Well, digital business means that you're using data in new ways to drive business value, but protecting that data has become increasingly important. It's not just about backing that data up anymore. It's really about managing that data through a full life cycle and finding new use cases for all those assets that you have. Rama Kalapan is here. He is Vice President of Product Management at Dell EMC Data Protection Division. Rama, great to see you. Welcome to theCUBE. Thanks Thank for coming you. on. Thank you. Good to, good to see you again. Dave. So, relatively new to Dell EMC. Talk about your role as Head of Product Management and what, what lured you to Dell EMC? Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, it's been uh, a few months here. Uh, I run the uh, Data Protection Division for Appliances. Uh, in product management, right? And um, one of the things, um, as you know, data protection is one of the hot areas. And I've been in this space for a while. And uh, one of the things I was looking for is to continue to be in this space. And uh, there's a lot of innovation happening. You know, there's almost a billion dollar in private capital that was raised in this space. And I was looking for a place where a company is uh, doing a couple of things. One is a uh, lot of investment in R&D. And uh, as you know, with a lot of announcements that's happening, we've been investing a lot. And secondly, innovation, right? Uh, new technologies, new areas, both from the software and appliances po uh, point of view. Mm. So I was saying up front, you know, talking about digital business, uh, people use the term data capital. We we were joking we, a lot. We hear the term, you know, the phrase data is the new oil, and we say no, data is actually more valuable than oil. You can you know, put oil in your car, you can put it in your house, but you can't put it in both. Data you can use in so many different ways. So data capital, people are becoming more aware of the value of data and then obviously we're going to talk about protecting it, but you guys use that term data capital? What does it mean to you? We use it a lot and customers actually use it even more often, right? Um, essentially, a lot of the customers and most of the organization in, in general, um, they're actually uh, consider themselves ac as technology companies and they differentiate uh, among themselves in if it is a retail customer or if it is uh, any other segment with the type of data that, it, that they have, right? And the kind of differentiation they offer is like, what value can they derive out of it? And how can they differentiate um, um, with that data? So the data capital is is very important. I mean, it's it's not about uh, backup anymore, right? Once you have your secondary data, customers expect that they want to use that for multiple use cases. Mm -hmm. So that's where the data capital plays a very important role um, in, in many, many areas. So ever since I've been in the business, it's because customers have problems and your job is as a technology supplier is to solve those problems. So talk about why data protection is so difficult from a customer standpoint. What are their challenges? specifically as it relates to data protection? See, um, when I've been talking to customers for many years, especially on the data protection um, uh, context, right? Um, as you know, the complexity of the customer environment is, is uh, changing uh, quite a bit, and it's mm -hmm. a very dynamic environment. What I mean by that is, it's, it's, it's whether they want to actually manage the data or protect the data on-prem, in the cloud, hybrid, et cetera the type of workloads has become pretty complex as well in the sense that it used to be traditional databases and of course the VMware workloads, et cetera. Now it is all the NoSQL, MySQL, and different type of workloads, AI, AI ML workloads. So that has become uh, quite complex as well. Uh, secondly, it's also about the data growth. And I've seen companies and customers basically um, with 50 to 80% data growth in one year, right? That's incredible, a lot of data. And uh, finally, it's also about uh, any major events, um, like for example, ransomware attacks or any downtime, downtime that happens. So what customers are looking for is a, a solution that can actually help them with that, right? Um, like a very uh, air gap solution for cyber recovery type solutions, et cetera. And, right? and the impact of losing data is, is much higher. I mean, it just seems to get worse and worse <laughs> every year, right? As data becomes more important to our business, having, whether it's a, a, a breach or a loss of data or any outage, really, is just more costly than it's ever been. I totally agree. I mean, uh, that's where 
the more customers, I mean, when we talk to customers, it's not about the backup admins anymore. Mm. The, there is uh, the users who are actually uh, using their database admins. Uh, we actually talk to CISOs, the security officers, um, especially when we are uh, dealing with some of the ransomware type use cases, et cetera, right? So that's getting very interesting as we move forward. You know, the old bromide backup is one thing, recovery is, is everything, um, and now recovery it has a much, much wider meaning. You're, you're recovering from a lot of different places. There's a, there's a lot more complexity in sort of the, the data stores. You know, the edge is starting to become more prominent. Uh, people are, are using the term data management more often. And data management can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. You know, database people have one view of what data management is. But what is data management to, to Dell EMC? And, and, and what is the shift going on from the, 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 the data protection to data management? It's, I'm glad you asked that because the market has already shifted in that direction, right? It used to be data protection is an insurance copy. You should be able to restore it and you should be good with that, right? Uh, but customers actually are looking for, they already are protecting the data. I mean, it's your secondary copy. They expect that um, they use that copy for multiple use cases. Um, I've seen a lot of customers um, you know, spin, spinning up a copy for dev test use cases, whether it's on-prem or in the cloud. Uh, for DR use cases, they can actually reduce the infrastructure cost um, and running analytics around uh, on it, uh, search and uh, uh, providing you know, um, insights uh, within the data set, if you will, right? So tons of use cases, so that is the shift that we are seeing and especially here at Dell EMC, um, we are investing uh, quite a bit on the data management part of it, and uh, new technologies play a critical role in there with uh, AI, ML um, use cases, IoT use cases, blockchain use cases, and so on and so forth, right? So that shift has already happened. Yeah, to me, Rama, too, it's about leveraging that, that asset. I mean, you talked about analytics before. We, you know, you talk about ransomware. You can use analytics to identify anomalous behavior. I mean, even air gaps, people can get through them, so you, you, you're not, you're never safe, and so you need to be vigilant and, and, and being able to apply these data management techniques becomes increasingly important for digital businesses. Absolutely, we actually look for, especially from um, enterprise customers, we look for a few uh, attributes, right, um, for data management, which are primarily uh, scale, uh, performance, reliability, and a whole bunch of use cases um, from a usability point of view, cloud use cases, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's, let's dig into that a little bit. So, what are the important aspects uh, and attributes of a, of a data management solution from Dell EMC's point of view? See, I'll, uh, for example, uh, if you look at performance, right, we have actually built in um, uh, Flash within our uh, disk-based appliance mm -hmm. for catering uh, use cases to the use cases like um, instant access, instant recovery for uh, databases. Uh, we also support um, uh, random IO, uh, uh, you know, IOPS of about 40K uh, with a very minimal, almost uh, like a 20 millisecond latency, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. So performance is key. Uh, secondly, scale, right? Um, customers are looking for um, uh, scale, for example, within the appliances portfolio. Customers can start small and they can actually uh, replace their controller, grow from uh, you know, a six series uh, data domain appliance to all the way to a nine series, scale up to a petabyte, and if you have a dedupe of say 50 to one, um, that's almost like a 50 petabyte of data um, uh, in active tier. And we actually support 2X in cloud, which means that's 150 petabyte of data. That's scale, mm. right? And, and the third part is the reliability part, right? Uh, we use a very, uh, uh, robust architecture, uh, DIA-based uh, data invulnerability architecture. That actually is very important for customers because that this is the last resort for them. This is the last copy um, as part of data protection, right? And uh, customers rely on Dell EMC for that. And finally, uh, some of the capabilities, as I mentioned, right, uh, cloud use cases, we, we support multi-cloud, and multi-cloud is very important uh, for customers now. Uh, multiple use cases, and then usability. Uh, we track some of the metrics like from box to backup, that's important. We look at uh, some of the manageability, upgradability, and serviceability uh, use cases, um, uh, very critical. So those are kind of the key attributes I would highlight uh, in terms of what we do and what we focus on, and pretty much aligned with what customers are looking for. So talk a little bit more about the product portfolio. Uh, you know, Dell EMC has always been on a cadence of product. People buy product, I, I like that. You know, R&D turns into product and you know, generates revenue, solves customer problems. How should we think about the, the portfolio, how it's evolving? 
So as I said earlier, right, what was intriguing, very interesting for me is the investment um, they're putting in R&D, right? And uh, from a, a portfolio point of view, especially for appliances, uh, we have the whole um, uh, nine series and then the six series uh, for the high-end um, dair domain, right, mm -hmm. uh, as a target appliance. Uh, we have the, of course, the, the three series and um, um, uh, for the low end, and yep. we have the mid-market as well. So we, we segment it as your target appliance, and then we have the integrated appliance, and uh, as you might have actually um, uh, talked to a bunch of my colleagues last year, we announced the DB4400, primarily right. on the mid-market, lower, um, uh, lower end of it, right? And then we also have the um, eight series and five series for the higher end. So overall, we have, uh, from a portfolio point of view, uh, we have the integrated appliance, we have the target appliance in the PBBA market, and we have the data protection suite from a software point of view, where all of our uh, multiple use cases that we cater to for customers. All right, so we've talked about some of the challenges the customers are facing, you know, kind of why it's so difficult, some of the trends in, in, in data protection, the portfolio. What do customers view as success? How, how do they measure success? What are the outcomes that you're trying to achieve with customers? See, from customers, customer, I mean, we are successful if customers are successful, right? Um, and primarily what uh, we are looking for and from we have heard from customers is that uh, we provide solution that will help uh, with lowering the TCO, right? Uh, and what they do with that is essentially invest in new technologies like uh, you know data in, in data science, AI, ML, IoT, blockchain as I talked about, right? I've, we've seen customers take that dollar uh, and invest in their business and that's how they can actually be successful, right? And finally, um, customers are also looking for one solution that can actually uh, cater to many needs. It's not just your data protection, but be able to use the secondary data to uh, uh, you know, solve many of these use cases, whether it's your DR or dev test and so on and so forth. I mean, that's to me really an important point that you're making is it's not just about, okay, I'm going to do a backup, and, you know, one myopic sort of use case, I can get more asset leverage. Uh, again, we talked about analytics before, I think that's a key, key part of it. Last question, uh, Dell Technologies World is coming up uh, end of April, early May. This is our 10th year doing the Cube. The first Cube we ever did was at the predecessor of Dell Technologies World, the EMC World 2010. We're excited the Cube will be there again, We're typically one of our biggest shows of the year. Um, what can you tell us, what to expect? Some of you, some of the innovations you're talking about, show a little leg, <laughs> DTW. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about this, going to be a lot of uh, exciting news, uh, both from the appliances and software side. Uh, you just have to wait to hear it, it's just one month away, <laughs> and we are super excited to announce uh, a lot of innovative, innovation. Great, here. well Rama, thanks very much for coming to theCUBE. Thank you Dave, Great appreciate to have it. You. You're very welcome, all right. Thanks for watching everybody, this is Dave Vellante and theCUBE from our Palo Alto office. We'll see you next time.